What up guys, it's King Games here, back with you with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller to your PC. A few months ago I showed you how to connect your PS3 controller to the PC and that video went phenomenal. It's at now 60k and that's my most popular video yet. There was many comments that saying that, oh please show um, how to connect a PS4 controller to your PC and it's been a while since they commented on that and but I've been busy but I'm here I'm here again. This video is really simple. It's not like the the other PS4 con PS3 controller that I've connected to your PC. That video was complicated but it gave you a, a good solution and that was the only solution I had found uh, found. So it's the PS3 controller you basically had to manually install the the drivers and uh, but in this video you just have to download a small program and it will install it automatically i will leave an annotation on the screen to show you where the where you see the ps3 controller and also in the description below so let's get started and launch up google chrome when you launch up google chrome you should uh type in ds4 windows it's the first link by Jay's Two Kings, and you basically just press download. It's a quick download. Press download and install the latest version. And the latest version is 1.4.401. Maybe when you see this, it'll update. But this was a release four days ago, so I'm gonna download this. I suggest that you download the the zip file and not the source code because that's basically the original file. So when you, once you download it. Um, I already downloaded and I placed it on my desktop, so I'm going to head over to my desktop, extract it, right click, extract here, and then it extracts, and you basically come with two files, DS4 Updater and DS4 Windows. So basically, I'll explain the updated later, but let's go on to a DS3 uh, Windows. So you basically, you come up on this screen. You come up, uh, you open on your uh, this screen and it says no controllers connected, max 4. So now, now plug in your PS4 controller. So as you plug in, it detects, it says status, battery full, and so on. So what you want to do is um, go to edit. And you would want to see if it works or not. So a great way to see if it works or not is to do a vibration test. There's two tests, test heavy, test light. I'm gonna try to test light. You see, it makes noise and it's moving right now, it's vibrating. So, so then you could check out if the buttons are recognized. You can see that cross, A button. And you're gonna see circle, B button. Why is it saying like that? Because it's recognized as a three, Xbox 360 controller. Windows is with Microsoft, so it's gonna connect as uh, as a 360 controller. So, but it still works all right. It's gonna work for any game, any stream game, um, any a multiplayer game, or any like emulator too. I tried it out. I'll show you if if it works on emulators. So you can see, and the cool thing about this is, you see the LED light on the PS4 controller that's uh, that is uh, dimming. You see that you can control the color. If I move this to the right, see it turns purple. You see that purple? That's like Star Wars purple, bro. And then um, you can check out if other colors like go all the way to green. You see now it's like a a, a light blue. You cannot probably not see it because my camera is not that good, but it's all right. And if you slide it, see if if it's all the way to the to the left with no colors there's no colors and so a great way is if it's connected just turn on some LEDs you know and if you imagine if you're um... all right and the cool thing about this is you know on the PS4 there's a trackpad over here the trackpad if you you could use this as a mouse if you look at my screen right now if I touch the trackpad my mouse moves I could click I could, I could, if I double, if I use two fingers, it right clicks. So it's pretty cool. You can use this as a mouse and see it opens up, I'll open up um, a folder. 
It's quite hard, but it does it does the job. It does the job. Okay, now to show you if it works or not. Uh, my con my computer isn't the best, so I can't really stream uh, or like sh uh, play uh, new gen games. So I'm just gonna show you um, emulator, and it's basically the same thing. I'll, this is the Project 64 emulator. I showed it so in it's in my previous videos. I'll leave an annotation and a link in the description below as well. So open up Project 64. All right, before you start a game, um, go to Options, Controller Plugin, and you would want to just let them know to detect your controller. So just press here, and you should press Control Xbox 360. Like I said, it recognizes your controller as an Xbox 360 controller. Just press it and press OK, and you're good to go. Then open up a ROM. Let's say Super Smash Bros. Open and here. It's gonna start right so then you see X is right here I just lift this up a bit X is right here as I press X you see now if I press um, uh, start options basically works one player mode one player mode one player game <laughs> see it works So, uh, and at the same time, if you don't like what buttons, which is which, you can still at the same time, you can change it. You just press this and you see, you can, you can find out yourself if you can change it or not. So, uh, last but not least, um, through time, you would need to have updates and the good thing is you wouldn't have to uh, download another another program to update it. So the best way is over here, DS4 Updater. You just have to click this and you see that it's download update right now. So now it just downloaded the newest update for me and then it updates automatically for you. So please give this video a thumbs up. If you please comment and ask, tell me which videos you would like, um, what gameplay games you would like. I recently just bought J uh, Just Cause 3, so if you like some gameplay on that, please comment below and ask me anything that you would want. Please comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.